welcome, welcome. I am Kimberly Hargraves, and I am the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines, and also an author. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I just got to work. I'm working in a new hospital tonight, so I'm excited. But before I checked in, I just wanted to give this quick, quick word that the Lord just dropped in uh, my spirit today. Whew, God has been showing me. It's some ministers out there. Hi, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. There's some ministers out there. There's some... Okay, let me put it up. Is, is that better? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? If you can hear me, say yes. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, I don't know if you heard the first part, but... I am Kimberly Hargraves, and I am the founder of Rejoice Essential Magazines and also an author of several books, and I just got to work, and I just wanted to release this quick, quick word, hallelujah, because God has been showing me someone out there that's been very discouraged because you are looking at numbers. You're looking at numbers in your ministry, and you're wondering, God, when am, when is my church going to grow? When is my ministry going to grow? Well, God told me to tell you today that... You know, he is going to get ready to increase you. God is getting ready to increase you. God is saying, don't look at the numbers. Don't worry. God is saying, if you be faithful in the small things, he will make you ruler over much. Amen. So don't get discouraged. Hallelujah. If nobody shows up, hallelujah, you preach to that. You, if if only three people show up to your um, to your service, that you've preached to those three people like your 3,000, amen? And if you can pass that test, then watch out. God is getting ready to increase you more and more and more. God bless you. Welcome from Virginia. Welcome, welcome. Amen. So don't get discouraged. Hallelujah. Now, some of y'all are at rock bottom. Some of y'all are at the lowest of the low. And I came here to prophesy to you today. Hallelujah. You said you broke... You say you pray, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to pray for you, okay? We're going to pray about that, amen? Now, some of y'all at rock bottom, you're at the low of the low. You probably lost everything. You went through a season of lack. You went through a season of loss. Well, get ready because God is getting ready to increase you, amen? And God sent me here today to speak increase into your lives, and God is getting ready to blow some of your mind today, amen? Well, let me say that again. I feel the presence of the Lord, and when I say God is getting ready to blow, blow your mind, hallelujah, do you receive it today? Do you receive it today? This is not no game, folks. I don't get on here, hallelujah. I don't get on here telling lies. I don't get on here without feeling the anointing on me, amen? When I say God is moving, God is moving. God did something awesome for me today. Like, I literally, I was about to start just crying out and just weeping because I, just in thankfulness, because when I say God is moving, God is moving. This is not a game. Hallelujah. When I say God is real, God is real. Now, some of y'all are going through a season of lack, not enough. Hallelujah. At rock bottom. Well, get ready for the increase. Get ready for the increase. Somebody say, get ready for the increase. Hallelujah. Get ready for the increase. When I say it, let me say it again. Get ready for the increase. Hallelujah. You got to call those things that be not as if they were. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to give you some biblical examples of the increase hallelujah number one job hallelujah in chapter one hallelujah yeah job went through a storm yeah job went through some loss he lost his um he lost his children he lost uh his cattle and his flock hallelujah you know he, he felt hopeless at a time is that you today did you go through a season of loss have you felt uh hopeless well let me tell you something i'm speaking into your life today get ready for the increase now if you go to job chapter um 42 after job prayed for his friends then the lord increased them so he had more than he um had in the beginning god gave him double for his trouble he ended up having more kids than he had uh in the beginning in chapter one he ended up having more cattle hallelujah he was very wealthy so he went from a season of a uh, loss to a season of overflow he went to a season of loss to a season of abundance he went to a season of loss hallelujah to his cup running over come on somebody god is not a respecter of a person okay i'm gonna give you the second biblical example of increase hallelujah we all know about joseph we know about joseph hallelujah you heard the the, the term he went from the pit 
to the palace? Well, let me tell you that. Let me prophesy in your life. Let me speak in your life today. You're getting ready to go to the pit season and to the palace season. Hallelujah. Yeah, Joseph, uh, he lost everything. Um, his brother sold him into slavery. He, he, he spent 13 years in a dark hole in prison for something he didn't even do. But let me tell you, when God raises you up, when God increases you, hallelujah, no one's going to get the credit except for God. No one is going to get the credit except for God in your life. Hallelujah. Some of y'all lost everything. Maybe your marriage. Maybe your job. Hallelujah. God is getting ready to increase you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So just, just be expecting. God is getting ready to increase you. Hallelujah. Now, when I say God is moving, God is moving, I'm getting all kind of testimonies today. Um, just God is doing the miraculous in people's lives. Hallelujah. So I'm just excited. Yes, God is God is moving. Like, I'm not on here just, just doing a bunch of talking. I feel God's presence. I feel his fire right now. God is moving. So just as God brought Joseph from the pit to the palace, God is getting ready to bring you out. God is getting ready to bring you out. Out. Amen. Do you receive it? Yes. Keep keep speaking it and keep um claiming it. Yes. Keep speaking it and keep claiming it. I, I'm, I'm telling you, this is not a game, folks. Hallelujah. God sent me on here today. I wasn't even gonna do a periscope today. He sent me on here to talk about increase. So I want to talk about Psalms 115, um, verse 14. It says, May the Lord increase you more and more. And more you and your children more amen let me read that again hallelujah the lord shall increase you more and more and your children hallelujah so when god blesses you it's not it's, it's only let me say it again when god blesses you the blessing is going to be so big that your children your household is going to be effective affected by the blessing amen so when god blesses you your your household and your in your children are going to be blessed. Everything that you put your hand to will be blessed. You will look blessed. Hallelujah. People want to be, uh, people are just going to be good to you. Amen. So I'm excited. God is going to increase you. And I'm getting ready to pray. Amen. How much time I got? I got about like 15, 20 minutes. I ain't trying to be on here that long though. Yes. Hallelujah. So Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God, God, I pray right now for every hurting person out here. I pray right now, Lord God. For everyone, Lord God, that's at rock bottom, God. God, I prophesy that you're getting ready to bring us out, God, and increase us more and more in us and our children, God. In the name of Jesus, yes, God is mighty and God is worthy. Hallelujah. God, I just come against depression right now. God, I come against despair right now. I come against discouragement in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, Lord God, that you release your joy, God, that our joy will be full in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. And and I just hear the Spirit of the Lord, get ready for the overflow, get ready for the increase, get ready for the abundance. Hallelujah. Is anything too hard for me, says the Spirit of the living God. God said, is anything too hard for me? Hallelujah. Just surrender everything you may be feeling today. Surrender to doubts. Surrender to fear and say, God, here you go. God, here you go. God, you tell us in your word to cast your cares. Lord, we're going to cast our cares today in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And God, we're going we're gonna to wait. Hallelujah. We're going to be expectant. Hallelujah. Because the spirit of expectancy is the breeding ground for your miracle. Let me say that again. The spirit of expectancy is the breeding ground for your miracle. Hallelujah. Whenever you have an expectancy, whenever you feel like God is getting ready to do something, hallelujah, re receive it receive it just know that god is working everything out god is going to blow your mind let me say that again god is getting ready to blow your mind i'm just excited I, i'm just i'm just excited because i i know god is moving hallelujah god i just lift up um why this person right here why me god hallelujah god i pray right now that you just take the hurt away um, you got some things in your childhood, and I just uh, I pray for healing, that the Son of Righteousness can come with healing in, in your wings and touch this person right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord God. Lord God, everything that this person lost, I, I speak that you'll give this person double for the trouble in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Just somebody just give God some praise. I'm, I'm just excited. Hallelujah. 
God is going to send you the resources that you need for your businesses. He's going to send you the resources that you need for your ministry. Just stay, just stay, stay the course. Stay faithful. Don't give up. Keep pressing. Don't give up. Do not give up. Amen. God, I mean, oh my God. When I say God is getting ready to blow your mind, yes. Hallelujah. Father God, I pray right now for Tyler uh, Desini. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. Be healed right now. I, 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 I come against all blood affections in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire of the Holy Spirit to touch him right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just receive your healing. Receive it. And every day, take communion and confess your healing. To say, by your stripes, God, I'm healed. Lord God, sickness and disease is far from me. Say, God, this is your body. No sickness can belong in my body. You got to speak things like that. You got to speak your healing into existence because in the word, you're already healed. It's already done. Amen. So I'm excited. God, I just pray increase in these everybody's lives on this scope. And I just pray blessings over them right now in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, I pray for success. I'm glad you got your clarity and I'm glad that you got your confirmation. Amen. I was just speaking what the spirit of the Lord put in my mouth. Amen. Yes. I, I come against the spirit of failure. I come against the spirit of lack in the name of Jesus. God, you said no good thing will we lack if we walk uprightly. So just be expecting. Just be expecting. Amen. Now, hallelujah. No more depression. I, I, I was just getting ready to say depression. Hallelujah. I come against depression. No more depression. Get up out of that bed every day. No more loneliness in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now, Holy Spirit is your comforter. Holy Spirit is your companion. Hallelujah. Now, sometimes God will take you through that lonely season so you can know another side of God, another dimension of God. He will take you through that season, and he'll be your friend. He'll be your best friend. Hallelujah. He's right there. God is right there. He's for you. You're not alone. God is for you. Hallelujah. And I pray for maturity over uh, Parlina's husband, Emilio. And I seal that in the blood of Jesus. God is right there for you. Hallelujah. Okay. Um, Father God, I pray right now. Hallelujah. For everybody on this scope that's spiritually dead. God, I pray right now. This life. I speak life over them in their spirit. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. So just, just be expecting. Hallelujah. When I say... Oh, God is moving. I mean, God is up to something big. Like, I can feel it. I can just feel it all over me. I'm, you know, like you get an excitement in your, you know, inside of you. You just know. Well, I know. I know God. Something's about to pop off. That's all I got to say. I know God is getting ready to blow our minds. Amen. Yes. Keep expecting. Keep expecting. Amen. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to get off here. Uh, I'm just excited. Like, when I say God blew my mind today, God blew my mind today. Amen. And he's no respect of a person. So, I know God is going to do something amazing in your life. Amen. Yep. Don't faint. Don't faint. Stay the course. Stay the course. Amen. All right. Um, before I go, hallelujah, just let me um, show you a couple of things. I just thank everybody for their love and their support. Um, yeah, stay in position. Do not give up. Do not give up. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. I don't know if you can see. I got my oil labels. Yay. Hallelujah. So I'm getting ready to um, ship out a big thing of oils tomorrow. Hallelujah. Because I've been working. I, I meant to do it today, but they just called me into work. So I'm getting ready to ship out a bunch of oils to people that sow in the ministry and to support the ministry. So I'm, I'm excited. Hallelujah. Now I prayed over these oils and I also got an, an anointed prayer cloth sitting on top of these oils. So I know the fire of God is in these oils. So I am excited. So yeah, so I'm God is doing some amazing things. God bless you too. All right, well, let me get off this scope. I'm happy for you too, sis. God is going to do some amazing things in your life. Amen. Yeah, and I just hear the spirit of the Lord say, stop worrying about, I, well, I, I, I'll inbox you. I'll inbox you. Oh, um, you can go to rejoiceessentialoils.com. Somebody can, can somebody type that up there for me? Rejoice Essential Oils with an S on the end dot com. Rejoice Essential Oils. Yes, hallelujah. Yeah, um, we're gonna pray for that seed right now. When I say, uh, if you if you only know my uh, testimony, uh, your name's Teresa, right? When I say God gives you seed to sow, He gives you seed to sow because the word says God gives seed to the sower. 
and bread to the eater hallelujah now i remember i went through i went through hell and i remember when i didn't even work i think for like la it was last year the month of october i worked three days that month three days that month when i say god bless me and he provided he provided I didn't have no food. I didn't have no money to get gas in my car. And I had to depend on on God. But when, when the word says God gives seed to the sower, God gives seed to the sower. So I got in my word and I start decreeing and declaring. I start commanding money to come forth. When I say money came, money came. So if God did it for me. He'd do it for you. Amen. So yes, yeah, so just receive that. Receive that. Hallelujah. So God loves a cheerful giver. So as long as you want to give, you know, God is... God, God will give you seed to sow. Amen. God will give you seed to sow. It's not about receiving. It's about giving. Because the word says, the more you give, it shall be given back to you. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, run it over. Show men pour into your bosoms. Amen. Yes. Rejoice Essential Oils with S.com. Amen. And I'll put the link on my website. Um, uh, Not my website. I'll put it on my Facebook page. Yes. Yes. It's always good. Yeah, I, I always give to the homeless too. And I just, yep, that's that's it. Thank you so much. And I thank God. This month, um, the ministry was able to sponsor 12 orphan kids in India. And that's something that God put on my heart to do every month. And these kids didn't have no shoes. They didn't have no clothes. And um, they were just getting, uh, it was cold. It was getting cold in India. So I just thank God just for the seed that I sent over there that these kids can get some shoes and um, clothes and stuff. So I just thank God for that. So, yeah awesome it's, it's good to give to the poor it's so it's vital hallelujah because like one one of the keys to like one of the bless to lock in some blessings is to give and especially give to the poor because when you give unto the poor you lend unto the lord let me say that again when you give to the poor you lend unto god amen you lend unto the lord hallelujah so everything you give into the poor all your alms the things that you do in secret god is gonna uh, get ready to reward you and and, and openly amen so you know Every seed that you sold, like say if you gave a homeless man five dollars, brought the homeless man to McDonald's, and nobody saw it except for God. Well, just get just get ready. God will God's getting ready to bless you. Hallelujah! Just for your alms, Amen. Yes. So just get ready, and you're in all the work that you're doing for ministry is not in vain. Hallelujah! God sees your labor. God sees your labor of love, and He's getting ready to bless you. Hallelujah! Yes, God is getting ready to bless you just for your hard work. Hallelujah! When the, some, some of y'all, I, I, I feel this prophecy coming on, spirit of prophecy. Some of y'all been doing things for other men and women of God, and nobody knew about the hard work you put into it, the effort that you put into it, except for God. And God is getting ready to bless the labor of your hands. God is getting ready to prosper you. Amen. Yes, get ready, ready, yep, get ready. Something's getting ready to pop off. I'm telling you, y'all. Yeah, so just be expecting, amen. All right, yes, amen. So, yeah, I, I just thank God right now, Teresa, that God is going to give you that seed to sow, amen. When I say it works, I remember, let me tell you my quick testimony. I'm trying to get off the scope, but I keep keep talking. Yes, I think it was like maybe like three, three weeks ago, and um, I needed money to pay a bill. And I asked God, and God said, don't you know i'm trying to say the word but god told me to decree it he told me to decree it tell your son matthew i said hi so when i say i decreed it and i commanded the money that i needed for my bill to come forth i'm telling you it only took two days two days later i had the money to pay my bill amen so this power in the word of uh, uh, decrease is power when you decree something it's power when you start commanding things amen Yes, amen, yes, and worship is important too. I remember one time the Lord told me, worship brings in the harvest, so I stand on that, hallelujah. Like when I feel some kind of way, yes, when you decree such a thing, a show get established, hallelujah. Okay, well, God, I, I pray right now that you bless, hallelujah. Um, This person, why me? On here, Lord God, bless her, bless her with a husband, a, a, God, a man of God in Jesus' name, hallelujah. So another quick testimony, um, the Holy Spirit told me one time, worship brings the harvest in. And when I say I didn't have no food in my house, I didn't have no food. Hallelujah. But I, I, I kept worshiping. God said, worship me every hour while you're awake. So I just kept pressing in and worship. And he said, speak your decrees in my presence. So I did that. 
So I, I decreed Philippians 4.19 that my God should supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So I kept making my decrees. Hallelujah. When I saved, I think it took like the next day. The next day, I checked my mailbox and I had $800. $800. Hallelujah. So not only was I able to fill up my pantry with food, my fridge with food, I was able to be a blessing unto three other families. Hallelujah. And feed the homeless. Hallelujah. So God is good. God is faithful. So somebody needed to hear those testimonies today. Somebody was feeling discouraged. Somebody was feeling broken and lost. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. God moves quick. When I say God is moving, this ain't no game. God is moving. I feel when I say I'm on fire, I, I'm, I'm on fire. I feel the Holy Spirit all on my face, all on my arm. I, I'm just excited. Hallelujah. I don't get on these scopes without feeling God on me. Absolutely not. Yeah, yep. You're blessed too. You are blessed too. I don't get on the prayer calls without feeling God on me. Hallelujah. Because I know it's the, the anointing that destroys the yokes. It is the anointing that's going to make a difference. It's the, it's the anointing of the Holy Spirit, His presence, that's going to tear down strongholds. That's going to heal the sick and cast out demons. Amen. Hallelujah. It's the anointing that's going to set people free. So I don't get on these calls. I don't get on these scopes without feeling God's presence. So yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. So just, just, be, just be expecting God is moving. Hallelujah. I just feel God. I just feel his presence. It's so sweet. Hallelujah. That's why I can't get off the scope. I've been trying to get off the scope for like five minutes. Hallelujah. Yes, just surrender all your, your pain and, and, and your burdens. Amen. Watch God. Watch God move. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm getting so many testimonies coming forth of uh, the things that the Lord has used me to speak in people's lives. And I see, I'm seeing it come to pass. Uh, I'm just I just love it just to see like the, the, the prophecies come to pass. Yes. Yeah, I can't get enough of God either. Amen. All right, y'all. Well, y'all be blessed. Y'all be blessed. Hallelujah. Yes, I am getting ready to clock in. Hallelujah. Yes, just yeah, just stay positive. Just keep speaking. Uh God, the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, woman of God, you need to increase your faith. Um, just listen to some great preaching or something. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Amen. So this uh, get in the word. Amen. Well, let me get off the scope. Y'all have a good night. Be expecting in Jesus name. God bless.